Hello everyone, this is V Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Well, today's video is a project share. I am excited to share this sand bucket. I've made one of these before. However, it was a silhouette file and I'm happy to share with you this one by Scrap Diva Designs. This is a die and it's such a cute 3D project to make. This is her information. She has an Instagram, a YouTube, and a TikTok. I will have it linked below. Uh, follow the hashtag. She has a hashtag called Scrap Diva Designs where you can find some beautiful and amazing projects. If I inspire you today, please use my discount code. It's V10, that's V-E-E-1-0. -E and that'll save you. Let's get into this project. Well, this project here was a challenge for me. And reason being is I got crafter's block like no other because I've already created one of these and I'm like, how can I make this different? So this is what I've done. My other one had a pinwheel right here on the left hand side. I had some ephemera pieces as well as some chipboard pieces down below. It also had a tassel as well, just like this one. It had one of these shovels, which I absolutely love. Let me share the die with you so this is the die it, it comes with the base and it also comes with this with some lining pieces and these are the linings here i'm going to flip this over as you can see you also have lining for the handle as well as the shovel the shovel is a shaker and the pail is a shaker as well um, in this project, I'm also using the pennant flags. You guys, she has these available if you guys want to pick those up. She has these ones that say barbecue, beach, drink, smile, hello, hot, sun, and relax. You get also a plain one. And then you get the pool. And these are so cute to use with cards as well as embellishing 3D projects. So let's go ahead and get into this project. I am obsessed, you guys. This is such a cute little uh, 3D sand pail that I made. I am using some charms and uh, wire wrap beads by, let's go ahead and get on into it. This one here is by Rachel Tolman, who I was gifted this um, by her in a group swap. I will have her linked below as well as this one right here. I'm sorry, this one is by um, Angela Love Pink Dragonflies. I will have her linked below as well. She gifted this charm to me as well as this flower to me in a personal swap. Such cute ones. I just love this lemon. I'm obsessed with lemons right now. So <laughs> uh, right here, as you can see, I have a lemon. This is an SVG file. I will have it linked below. It is with Silhouette, so I'm not sure if it will be uh, compatible with Cricut users. Uh, just keep in mind. So I did make the shovel shaker. However, it's made with tool. And then here we have some ephemera pieces and some chipboard pieces. I have this flag, which is also a silhouette cut file. I will have that link below in case you want to check that out and see if it's compatible with your machine. Inside, so I did make it a shaker. I didn't put enough, um, I didn't put enough uh, sequence in there. So I wish I would have put more sequence, but there it is. The sequence is there, you guys. If you flip it over, it's see-through. You can see right through the pail as well as the other side. So it's see-through. You could see right through it. I wanted to do something different from what I did last time. And so let's get into these flags, you guys. So I made these flags real quick. So these flags were done. Um, 
I made them uh, for my TikTok. You know, TikTok, it, the, uh, the followers at TikTok are very different from followers on Instagram and followers on YouTube. So my TikTok followers, I from the views and all, they like simple. So <laughs> I did these very simply done. Um, all no stitching, no of anything. They just like their stuff simple there. And um, here are some embellishments that I also created with a shovel. I did the same deal, added the tool, added some sequence in there, and did some stitching. I know my um, YouTube followers and Instagram followers love intricate um pieces as well as stitching my tiktok followers are another story they are a hard crowd over there you guys very hard crowd um but i love everyone i love these you guys i did this here uh, you could add um a charm just like i did here look how it looks with a charm here isn't it cute? It's so cute. I love this crab. Isn't he adorable? I love him. So yeah, you could add some charms there. You could also add some stickers on here. Some ephemera pieces. So cute. So these are extra shovels to add inside here. Let's go ahead and look in there. So if you can see here, it's see-through. You could see right through it and I love it. I hope you can't see my face <laughs> because it is night and I am a hot mess right now so the umbrella is kind of uh, woven into the bucket so as you can see it doesn't come out because of the handle so I glued it right in so it's attached to the bucket it will not come off so unless you yank it off but yeah it won't come off I added some crinkle in there because this is a large bucket you guys it is um, roughly about four let me get closer yeah it is pretty deep as well so it's about four and a quarter and the depth of this is one and three fourths and so the width of this it, it varies from the bottom to the top so I'm not gonna do that so yeah it's it can hold a lot in there you guys so that's why I added the crinkle in there I added these flags so it's just like an embellishment bucket and um, for whoever gets this they have some embellishments to work with and um, I love the collection the collection is called Sunkissed by Simple Stories well, you guys, this concludes the video. Stay tuned for another video. I have more projects to share with you. And again, check out Scrap Diva Designs. She will be linked below. She's at ScrapDivaDesigns.com in case you want to look her up. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.